Hello again. Hey everyone! Friend is back! <laughs> Yay, friend! <laughs> uh, Lou Teasdale, who is a well known makeup stylist, artist, makeup artist in uh, slash England, hair. slash hair stylist. There you go, there's the stylist. She's beauty stuff. Yeah, mainly for One Direction, which is how I came to know her. Sorry. Uh, she wrote a book! And it's called The Craft, and it's really, really, really cool. And it's basically just like 25, well as you can see, 25 alternative beauty looks. And it's just a bunch of funky stuff that no one in Canada is really going to do. Except us, as you can tell, with the eyes and the hair. Yeah, we trolled through it and we decided to do looks from it. Yay. You kind of did it before. I know, I was like, I've kind of had <laughs> colored hair before. But it was inspired by this woman, not Kara, but... Lou Teasdale. So this one, oh I can't find it. That one is Lou Teasdale, so she's the author of this book. And then who, that's her twin sister Sam, who owns the Bleach London Salon in Dalston in London. How badly do you want to go there? So badly! <laughs> Should I talk about my hair first? Yeah. Okay, so I haven't actually had to bleach it. I've been lucky enough because my hair is super, super light, ashy blonde. Um, <laughs> so uh, my hairdresser put a lot of highlights in it, probably in the summer, like end of July, no, middle of July, before I went to England last summer. Then when I got back, she put another load of highlights in it, and then from there, I have a few products, two of them I didn't bring, but then th mainly this one, Fudge uh, Clean Blonde Shampoo. It's a violet toning shampoo, my bottle leaks really badly. Most of my products I get from England because I'm lucky enough that A, I have family over there that'll send me things, or B, we go back often enough that I can just pick stuff up. You, If you live in America, you can get some fudge products at Target. I know that. I don't know if the clean blonde stuff is in there, but I know there's definitely some fudge products at Target in the Do States. Canadian Targets not have I don't know about Canadian Targets. Hey, if you're Canadian, you should go to Target and see if they have fudge products. And then let us know. Let us know in the comments. See, I watch YouTube, I know. <laughs> you know how to point? Just point. And then, you can't really tell right now in this video, but it's actually going from blue into the violet. Um, so I use Bleach London's Blue Lini, and I love it. It smells so good. All of these hair products smell amazing. That's another good thing if you have like bleached hair and you want a, like a white toner, the Punky Color Platinum Toner. If you leave it on long enough, it will go like a really pale lilac, and then you that just... happened to my hair. When I first tried Ooh. to do it, there was like little purple spots, and I was like, oh my god, what is happening? Yeah, so if you don't want purple hair, don't leave it on for a long time, but I wanted the lilac tint to it, so I left it on for a long, long time. On dry hair, too. If you have wet hair, the color absorbs quicker. Or else you get this. Unless, yeah, with this, <laughs> because this is just like, it's toning shampoo, so it's super, super diluted anyway. I put mine on dry hair, and I slept with it in. Put like a shower cap on, which also apparently helps absorb the color. Um, and it was on for probably 12 hours, and my hair's been purple for like a month now. Yeah. It used to be like that picture of the Teasdale twins, it was like that silvery lilac platinum, and then I left the purple in for a really, really long time. Uh, for the purple, if you just want dye, uh, the Bruce Violet or the Parma Violet by this company. Recommend. My mom got back from England a couple weeks ago, and she brought me all this Bleach London stuff, so then I put blue in them. She freaked the fuck out. Oh, I did. <laughs> I was more excited to see these products and to get Mauams than I really was to see my mom. That's not true. I love my mom a lot, but oh, green apple. Oh my god. They're yeah, so Mauam stripes. If you're ever in England, or if you live in England. Also mentioned in this book, I'll I'll try and find the page. Uh, she calls it grunge hair. It's basically like beach hair, so really thick and really. Kind of like beach wavy. Here we go. Just think of like surfer chick hair. These are the only products that I have for my hair that are from that you can buy in Canada. Uh, it's Bumble and Bumble Surf, and uh, again, it just smells like the beach. And so when I wash my hair, condition it, um, when I get out of the shower, it just feels like I've been frolicking on a beach. It's just so thick and so texturized. I shower at night because if I shower in the morning, I'm always always late. Um, but I use Fudge Urban Sea Salt Spray. At night, when I've like shampooed, conditioned, all that good, showered essentially, um, <laughs> I'll braid my hair into just like one thick braid, sleep in it, and then wake up in the morning, take the braid out and let it air dry a little bit while I'm getting ready, 
and then I spray this in it and then kind of tussle it up a bit and it stays perfectly like wavy, beach wavy goddess hair all day and this is basically my natural hair is straight I have very Scandinavian DNA it's just like pin straight hair so yeah these products will make it hold a hold a really nice wave and I just smell like the beach so Lou Teasdale is ambassador for the fudge brand and in this book they feature the paint box collection and so they have a list of the colors I don't think this is all of them now again fudge they don't ship to Canada or America but you might be able to find the paint box in Target again let us know if you find it and then throughout the book there's a few pages and they're called grunge recipes they're really cool. and so that's like mixing colors or adding um, a wider shade of pale which is just like a it tones down the color um, or you can just put the wider shade of pale on your like bleached hair and it'll make it that just like white silvery so yeah you can they have like the pastel colors and then they also have like the super bold, bold, vibrant, yeah, colors. That's another thing I really like about this book because they show you like if you mix this color with this color, you'll get this. It really inspires you to just be inventive and just. She even says they're called recipes because it's like cooking. You just experiment. So in this book, I was inspired by a couple things with my makeup. Um, this look specific. How do I do this? There we go. See, it's a lot more difficult. There we go. It's gonna be blurry, but whatever. <laughs> With the uh, bold eyeshadow, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Just bright neon colors on your eyeballs. The wing liner that they had here at the bottom. How am I doing this? this Correctly. You're fine. There we go. I just oh, it just reminds me of like '70s makeup. Brow scara. So, ombre brows, they've been around for a while. Tried to do that today. I like it. I like Not it. Bad. No. Colored, colored mascara is making its way back. It is. So I have bright blue on. You can't really yeah. tell. You can see it's kind of blue. But uh, Makeup Forever have really good ones. Their Smoky Lash collection. They have like a royal blue. Yeah, it's even mentioned in the book. And like a kind of purpley pink and a green and I think brown and then classic black. They're really, really nice mascaras. I'm wearing Sephora brand. A uh, really nice alternative if you're kind of a makeup junkie and you have a lot of makeup sitting around. MAC actually makes... Um, <laughs> MAC also has a lash mixing medium sort of thing. So if you have a lot of pigments or just eyeshadows in general, basically all it is is it's a clear mascara or even if you have clear mascara, you just have to basically use a pigment over top of it and it works pretty much the same. So you can have... The brightest brow, or not brows. Not brows. The brightest eyelashes in the world if you want, so. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's kind of an Clear alternative. Clear mascara. Clear mascara. Where does one purchase one? Anywhere. Oh. Drug stores. Oh, wow. Usually they're advertised as uh, brow setters, but, but it's you just can clean. use it for anything. Oh. Yeah, and then MAC does their whole lash mixing medium thing and a swoolie brush and some pigment and you mix it and you're good to go. Cool! Yeah. How many layers of mascara are you wearing right now? I think about eight. My eyes are going to be on fire in a few hours probably. But it says, like, just layer it up so the color is just bam in your face. Does it actually say, like, use an entire tube? Uh, not an entire tube, I don't think. Mm -hmm. A tube a day, so... Forget any other makeup, it's not important. Just, just spend all of your time. As long as you have a tube on. of mascara a day. Yeah, you don't need any other makeup for a festival than a colored mascara. The key is layers. Keep applying until the color is thick and vibrant and you can't go wrong. And then it talks about Today. spider lashes and how you should check out the spider lashes on page 53. I'm turning to page 53. Like this. Blue Teasdale always has spider lashes and I think she's the only and this model the only two women I think I've ever seen and it looks good uh, another great thing about this book is yeah it talks about tattoos so yeah tattoos um, this young lady is a working professional in London and she basically talks about how it doesn't matter if you have tattoos if you want them get them and if you end up not liking them you can always cover them up get them removed it's painful but you can do it and just that it shouldn't affect your everyday life, especially your professional life. So if someone's not gonna hire you because you have ink on your skin, pretty superficial. Cause there's a great section in the back on like aspiring makeup artists and just kind of how she started, where she trained all of her um, work experience up to where she was on X Factor 
got scooped up by One Direction, and now she has her own book, so. And it's really nice because- It could be you! It's things you can actually relate to, so like, it mentions how blogging is like a really good part on how to do it, and she straight up basically tells you like, when you start doing it, it's gonna suck, and you're gonna have awful bosses, but eventually it'll get to the point where if it's something you love to do, then it, do it and it'll be fun. That's really it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very down-to-earth book. It is. She's a very humble lass from Yorkshire. Yay! <laughs> it is. It's a great read if you're into beauty, if you're into hair, if you're into makeup, if you're into the London scene, especially the East London scene. Where we live in Canada, it's really like, kind of like Seattle, Portland hipster. It's not really like... If we had Lululemon leggings and Uggs and a hair and a bun with a giant sweater, we'd fit in! And then big glasses, which I have, but... We don't fit in. We're not, no. We definitely stick out, especially at work. Yeah. People are actually afraid of us at work simply because we wear bold eyeshadow and have purple hair. And like docks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This book's great even if it's not something you're really into, just because it gives you kind of like an open eye into like different world of trend. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Where can you buy it? How much was it? Uh, oh, I pre-ordered mine in like January. 20 bucks? No, it wasn't even that. Somewhere between 15 and 20 and from Amazon. But like I said, you can buy it in bookstores in the UK, as far as I know. If not, Amazon.com is where I got mine from. And for... Yeah, any of the products that I mentioned, Bumble and Bumble, you can get at Sephora or any, well not any hair salon, but a lot of hair salons carry their stuff. Bleach London, they only ship throughout Europe, I believe. So if you're like me and a family that will then forward it on to you, then that's fantastic. Uh, if not, there are a few ebay.co.uk users that have started like I'm sure they'll purchase it and then you just pay for it and they'll ship it to you, which is also really great. You can find sea salt sprays at a lot of different places, like Bumble and Bubble have one. Um, I'm sure just like any hair product. But the key is Red the sea tea. salt. That is what keeps the texture and keeps the buoyancy of it. Oh, there's also like little, not DIY tips, but just like little tidbits of information that I didn't know, like if you want a matte lipstick but you don't want to buy mm -hmm. matte lipstick, you just put on your normal lipstick and then you put on an eyeshadow over top just to powder it down and hold it in so like there's little tidbits. It's like if she were to make YouTube videos but in a book. Yeah. Basically. And it's just a really visually pleasing book. It's bright and it's funky. Oh! Best part. Totally forgot. <gasps> there are stickers in the back. I love the tarantula lashes one. There's a bunch of people like they're basically the models and other stylists that are in this book so if you follow them on Twitter keep you up to date. Lou Teasdale has her own Tumblr and her own Twitter as well as Instagram and so does her sister Sam. But she has worked hard. She is from humble beginnings and she's worked her way through. Um, like she got unpaid for the majority of the beginning part of her career so it's pretty much what you gotta do. It's hard work you can't just start up top. So if you're interested in this book be sure to pick it up from Amazon. I guarantee you will get a lot of really cool ideas but it kind of it kind of makes you feel like being i don't know grungy and doing things out of the box is okay yeah that's what this book it is. inspires your individuality don't be afraid to be who you are exactly that is the big overall moral of this <laughs> entire thing yep don't be afraid <laughs> to be you so again if you have any questions on hair feel free to leave a comment below and she will answer you with all that goodness. I will try. Ness, maybe we can convince her to <laughs> make a video on hair someday. Maybe. <laughs> Just maybe. <laughs> uh, otherwise, I hope you found this helpful. If is not helpful? fun, interesting. Probably interesting is the best word. Yeah. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And that's it. Yep. Yep. Bye, guys. <laughs>